Thank you for staying with us on the show. We are committed to helping us preserve the family institution. And joining us as our first guest on today's show is a gentleman. He will be opening up on cultural backgrounds and relationships. A strategic philosopher and psychoanalyst, a certified matchmaker and therapist. He's also a life coach and business strategist who believes that no man exists limited to his potentials. I wonder what that is. Well, it's my pleasure to welcome to the show today with John and Helen on um, Plus TV Africa this wonderful morning. It's Mr. Dr. Good Erese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I needed to put something in front of yeah, the good it's fine. Erese. <laughs> you can just uh, because it good <laughs> is really your name? Yeah, yes, it is. Like we were talking, and I have to always say my name is good and not I'm good. Well, that's excellent. <laughs> yeah. Good. Your name is good. And so everything that is good comes with it. Absolutely. Yeah? Welcome. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Within the context of relationships, um, what is cultural background? Cultural background, basically, it's, we can simplify it in, by saying that it is a reflection of where you come from and how where you come from at the same time um, shaping who you are or rather says who you are, makes you a complete person that you are. Mm. So these backgrounds that we speak about are backgrounds that influences our relationships and at the same time say what kind of relationships that we are in. Probably so, shapes who we are, mm. defines yeah, who defines we are sometimes. Who we are. Okay. So that it will be it will be like uh, the roots, yeah? Yeah. It's, okay. it's more like a foundation, the, the roots foundation. of yeah, yeah, the mm. source. who you are, the source of who the you are. The source of who you are. Yeah. So really, um, so our cultural background may have some relevance to our relationships, yeah? Yes, it plays a very huge role. And oftentimes, I would say that it's most likely to play the ultimate role in your relationship, and either the good side or the bad side, the negative or the positive side. It depends on how, what you want to bring into your relationship. And like I said, have it. we'll go into it more. And it's something that you have to look out for in terms of the advantages and the disadvantages on what kind of relationship you're trying to basically create with your partner. Mm. Okay, now, this is a family show. So when we're talking relationship, we're talking relationship totally, holistically, the immediate family setting and the extended family, and sometimes your workplace, all right, because that is also part of what makes a um, family to be successful or not successful. So are you saying at this point that people from different cultural backgrounds cannot properly coexist? No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that what you are from where you are, when you bring it into a relationship, it is basically a form of an influence in your relationship. Now, people from different cultural backgrounds, they come into relationships and oftentimes they've had the best relationships that could ever exist because they are more interested in learning who they are, what their backgrounds are. It is more like fun rather than more like a challenge. Okay. For instance, if I come from um, the western part of um, the country and someone from the um, northern part of the country and then we join together and you say, I love your culture, I love where you come from, I love everything about you, I'm learning about you because it's different from where I'm from. Mm. And then she's saying that I love where you're from, I love everything about you, I want to learn more things about you. But then there's a shift somewhere whereby we are so personalized in our cultural background in the sense that we place priority and we prioritize our background over the next person's own. So this is where the problems comes in because we want to influence our food culture into the person's culture and say, act the way we act. Mm. So at the end of the day, there might be a drift of interest mm. in that relationship. Mm. I, hope, I hope you're not talking about me. <laughs> I hope he's not because, talking about me. Because, because really, the, the truth is that I'm, I'm multinational. 
be okay. If you understand <laughs> that. <laughs> break it down. I, I am multinational. Tokumbo, break it down. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm also Tokumbo. I'm John, I'm Tokumbo, I'm Kofi. Uh -huh. Right? Um, and you crossed Ghanaian, over to Delta. My father, originally from Ghana. My mother, originally from Togo. And I am born in Nigeria. And I'm married to Anishakiri. Hmm. Right? So... It confuses my daughter, <laughs> right? But, but what, what I'm trying to bring out is that this is multicultural. Sure, yeah. So and that is what saves me all of the time because it's difficult for me to latch on to any particular culture. So we leave it open, mm. right? Mm. We leave it open and we run it the way it comes. It saves me sometimes too. I'm Idoma. All the way from Benue, and I'm married to an Obomo shaman. Wow. And at some point, you know, they let some things go because they say, wow. Because uh, after If you were a Yoruba girl, <laughs> you won't go, you know, scot free with yeah. this. Yes. Remember, we, let, we forgive you because mm -hmm. yes. you, know, you yes. don't know about yes. it. So, so, so it does so, have its. Um, so, so tell me, um, good, yeah. Um, how does understanding the differences, you know, in our various backgrounds, how does it, how does it help? The relationships first of all it's um the process of which you have to understand how these things is first of all being compassionate about each other's culture mm. and see it as a way because regardless of it all there's no culture that would say we can learn something positive from mm -hmm. every culture has yeah. its beautiful side and it's just life is about learning Sure. The process yeah. of life is continuous learning and assessment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you are in a relationship with someone, it's continuous assessment and learning from them. Because there are things that, personally, from my background, I can say that this is not supposed to be in place. I don't think this is right. So when I look at other cultures and you say to I think I like how they handle their things. I like the way Yorubas lay down and greet the form of respect. Um, other cultures, we stand and say, good afternoon, sir. Mm. And it's not a big deal. Or stretch out. Yeah, stretch out her hands. Mm. And it's not a big deal. It's but when you look at other cultures and you're like, I like this. I want to pick this from this from person. Them. And then that helps you become the total man you need to be mm. or the total woman you need to be. Mm. At the end of the day, it's about being compassionate enough to be mm. open to learn other things yes. in terms of cultures. Mm. And wherever you are open to learn, that's where it becomes very beautiful. But in a process whereby you say, no, I, I think we know it all. We have the best culture. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. However you guys run your stuff, we don't want to bring it here. Mm. It's okay where we are. Mm. We're not ready to shift. We're not ready to make any amendments. Yeah. That's where the problem is. Okay, and that's, that's the point where I want to come in. And then when that problem comes, there's a breakdown in communication. There are crises in the family and um, so how do we how and why do we blame it on cultural background and what do we need to do when there's a breakdown at this point okay when there's a breakdown we try to say that compromise does not give us the full fulfillment but oftentimes compromise helps but when issues like this come up it is best to say to ourselves that what is important? Is this relationship important? This is why a lot of people have decided to let go their cultural background in its sense that- And beliefs. And beliefs and say, you know what? Um, I'm from the East. You are from the South. Let's create our own relationship culture. Yes, what yes. works for yes, us. Yes, relationship culture. culture yeah. Now, yeah. in this relationship culture, it is the both of us in this institute, in this culture, in this unit, and we say, this is what we want, this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. And whatever that happens in that unit must not be referred to Jeez. our cultural background or families makes or sense. relatives. That, that makes a lot of <laughs> sense. Yeah. Because then there's no reference to, no, from where I come, we this doesn't do happen. This. You can't do we this do because... This. Yeah. Because it's very important, and that's why a lot of people run their marriages, their relationship, without involving their parents in it. Because when they come in, 
they will yeah, look at a lot of things going wrong. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but it works see, for you guys. But let it. <laughs> but let me just play the devil's advocate, because in in some cases, the family, which most of the time is the custodian of the culture, yeah. in cases of relationships, yeah, they wait for you. When they you wait for an appropriate time in. when you will need the institution of the culture, right? To be able to do a, a few things, and then they, they, you know, they still disrupt and uh, so. No, no, no. But I, I really like what you said. You know, let's get the culture, let's get the belief, let's get the rules that guide this particular relationship, relationship, or organization, or partnership, whatever you call it, and. Um, Let's let's leave yours. Let's leave my culture, mm. my belief, and all of that because we're here ground. now. Yeah. We're here now. So, you know, that makes a lot of sense, John. It does yeah. actually. It does. All right. So, so going on, you know, um, cultural background differences are they a plus or a minus in relationships? Yeah. You know, they can be huge plus. At the same time, they can be huge minus. In all, it is basically how you bring these things into your relationship. Bring the whole card on the table and start selecting cards that you need. Do we need, um, what's it called? Do we need uh, the good card in our relationship? Do we need the bad card? Like we should be transparent. We should be open to each other's feelings and how we are, vulnerable openness. Mm. Because this helps us to say to ourselves that, um, Communication in it all is very important because without having to talk about these things that you want in your relationship, you would find issues along the way. So when we say, is it a good plus? Is it a bad plus? How do we know if it's a bad plus? How do we know if it's a good plus? Making it a good plus is you bringing all the cards on the table and taking out the important things. Bad plus. We don't want to bring anything to the table. We are who we are. We are mm. just the way we are. Mm. However it is, remember, you are a complete man that have lived for 20 years or above. You are a complete woman who has lived for 20 years and above. There has been a philosophy going on with you. Mm. Yes. There has been a training that you have been shaped into for yes. years of time. Mm. Yes. Now, you cannot be unshaped easily. At the end of the day, these whole issues or things, cultural beliefs that you have has been in you. It's more like part of your DNA. So therefore, when you say, I can't, know that the other person is just like you who is saying, I can't. Hmm. So at the end of the day, in that relationship, there might be very, there might be strong cultural crisis. A battle of culture, who to win, who is more superior, whose culture should we choose? So you're saying that communication, That's key. communication is very important. Is very important mm. to smoothing out, you know, whatever differences you have culturally between both of you. And I only hope we're able to apply that. Mm. Because even communication itself is learned True. in a relationship. You have to be able to know what to say, how to say it. When to say when it. When to say it. Mm. You have to be able to listen as well as, you know, to present your case at the right time. You know, so all of these things yeah. are interwoven. I'm bringing this up because in, in one or two of our past programs, yeah, we had, we've talked so much about communication. The essence of, the essence yeah. of communication. Mm -hmm in relationships okay. and today it's popped up again yeah and someone said you know it was very profound someone said to me in any relationship it is what you deposit in it that you get out it is what individuals deposit in it and um, someone else says please pay attention to satisfying your partner and let the partner pay attention to making you happy to satisfy you know to fulfilling you instead of the reverse. A lot of the time, it is me, myself, and I. Oh yeah, I, I don't like it. I hate it when you do this. You know, why don't you find out what he hates? 
and you don't do them. And then he finds out what you don't hate. So, you know, you're caring more about him. He's caring more about you. You're dropping. You're bringing into the family positives and all of that. And that's exactly what you get out of it. And on the flip side, hmm. if it's the negatives that you drop in on a regular basis, then they multiply. And um, am I right? Oh, you are absolutely. <laughs> you, are you are absolutely. Because <laughs> you are strongly right there. And mm. I won't disagree less. Okay. And you are on point on that. Because when you speak about that, it's our parity. It's our role. It's what we came to do. Like every time I talk, I say, I shouldn't be concerned about how I shouldn't look at you mm -hmm. in the sense that what you do, f do for me first so mm -hmm. I can reciprocate. Yeah. No, do your job and I'll do my job. Mm -hmm. So that's True. exactly what you're True. saying. Like True. when we True. come together, every man or woman should do their job. Don't look at mm -hmm. the next person and say, I'm looking at you if you can do this so I can do this. Just yeah. do your stuff. Just do, do your stuff. thing. Wow. You know, you just, you just set yeah. me thinking. You know, now we're talking cultural mm, differences. Mm, mm. In which pockets do we put religious religious differences? Does it work the same way? Because, for instance, a Muslim marries a Christian or yeah. uh, mm, any of mm, mm. you know. That, that, what's the management like? There are two ways to go about it. When you talk about religion, it's as fragile as cultural, mm -hmm. and if not even more fragile in recent times. So what people do, they try not to interfere with religion because religion is like it's, 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 it's a, an upper step to our cultural background mm. because religion, at the end of the day, our cultural background is where we are coming from. Mm. Religion is where we are going to. Okay, so, really? Yeah. What if you were born, if you were born a Muslim or born a Christian? Yeah. So it's as good as, you know, the Christian way of life, just like your cultural background, is something you have lived with, you know? Our, our, it's more, let me explain it this way. Our cultural background is where, like, more like where we are coming from. Okay. It's who made us. We're not there when it was created. Same as religion, but religion also has a further approach like a further step like where do we want to end up in the sense that you are a christian you plan to go to heaven this is <laughs> deep <laughs> you are a muslim you plan to go to heaven yes. and meet allah yeah. so, you know? so, how do so we, it's how... it's a process like okay. it's a continuous and people don't want to interfere with how that how is it calendar. managed how, how can it be managed yeah so what they do is that oftentimes people don't like to interfere in that area do your okay. thing play your role at you know serve your God and I'll do mine. Mm. And at the same time, people have also come to establish their own kind of openness. You know what? We understand that it is one God. Mm. I'm not asking you to stop going to church, mm. but let's understand. Let's it's have the God. core. We, 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 <laughs> we will have to set up another <laughs> program for that because it appears to be very deep. Yes, it, it is. And any attempt yes, to it dig into it now. It is. You know, it is very sensitive. But, because it's well, further, it's, it's ahead, yes. not where we are coming from. It's, ah, yes, it's part yes, of where yes, we are coming yes, from, yes, but yes, it yes. proceeds. Yeah, the eternity thing is, is huge. Yes. yes. And yeah. uh, quite frankly, I, I think we should just sum it all up mm -hmm. you know, by agreeing that after this hugely interesting conversation with you this morning, yeah. you know, we are certainly better off. On True. this subject of uh, cultural backgrounds Definitely. in relationships, Definitely. so I I'd, I'd want to thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. you know, um, Doctor Good Eresse. I am great for <laughs> you are, you are good. Good. <laughs> we are good for being with us on this thank program. You. Thank uh, you so much. When we do set up that second meeting, I would like to take the aspect of language, because that's also key. You know, the language from one person and the language for the next person and cultural background and all of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. We've been so very helpful, so you know, much. in um, dissecting and, um, you know, getting us in the right direction in this particular issue. Thank I'm you. For Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it. All right. We'll take a very quick break at this point. We hope that you have picked a thing or two from our conversation with um, Dr. Irese. And don't go away. Today with John and Helen, we'll be right back.